Well, hello, boys and girls. This is when we feel like it o'clock. I'm Pearl of Wisdom, and you're listening to my NHL Pearls of Wisdom. I'm noticing now that I'm doing this on my uh, brand new spanking laptop that my eyes look like they're heading this way. <laughs> I'm watching you. Are you guys like, who are you looking at? <laughs> Anyways, I we got a Patreon subscriber last night in the middle of the night, a $25 subscriber. Uh, might have been the TikTok guy. I, I put a I put a bet up there for uh, in, in TikTok, and the guy won a thousand dollars and said, "I'm going over to BPAL. And sure enough, I think he did. So good for you. <laughs> We're hitting back there again. Uh, baseball picks are coming in better. Our hockey picks are coming in great. Uh, we got uh, yesterday. By the way. Thank you for your subscriptions and comments in the bottom there. It's weird. I'm getting more subscribers, but like less views. I don't know why that is, but it's okay. Uh, we're having fun here anyways, aren't we? Also, you know what else we're doing? Th and thanks for this. Uh, we're, uh, we're doing lives at night watching the games. That is some fine frolic over there, boys and girls. Highly recommend you go do that. The fellow that subscribed to the channel, I sent him a My NHL Pearls of Wisdom necklace. Right, uh, right, Hernandez. You're on now, right? I know, it's hard to balance. You'll have to get a uh, forklift to lift up all the Pearls of Wisdom necklaces to take them there. Yeah, it's all on a pallet today. Anyways, Hernandez is going there to send them a My NHL Pearls of Wisdom necklace. I'm gonna start being. Uh, I'm gonna start having uh, some sponsors coming up in the next little while. Um, I think I might bring Jaime's Body Lube back in again. I'm gonna give them a call and see if they would like to sponsor us. Uh, Ching Key's House of uh, Yoga, as well, and of course, my uh, Perlo's House of Spanking. That uh, th th is my own personal uh, enterprise. At Pearl of Wisdom Industries here. So today, I, I've, that's, we're getting into some games for today and looking at what happened yesterday. Doing the live yesterday, we had uh, the Dallas Stars ML and the Islanders ML. The Islanders game we had like right from the get-go. It was not a problem at all. I actually was recommending maybe a PL there because I really thought that the energy from the Washington Capitals would have been done. They really have are not big fans of our uh, I don't think they're a fan of their coach uh, Reardon um, is pretty much out there uh, has there ever been a time when a coach looked like okay he's gone for sure <laughs> like I don't know there probably has been but I, in my recent memory I can't remember to a time tell me in the comment section if you can think of a time that you were watching and went yeah that guy's done um, but yeah for sure so Islanders pretty much spanked them, no problems there. By the way, I did go to the house of spanking the day before because I had the Philadelphia over and under and all that stuff like that. I had a bad day, and sure as heck, I'm 100% on my way back. Uh, Dallas, we had Dallas Calgary in the over, and that was way over, wasn't it? So, uh, but uh, Dallas uh, obviously won. Uh, that series... They got to do something about their goaltender. My God, Rich. Uh, oh, what's his name? Not Rickett. I want to say Rickett because they're Rickett's picks. It's one of the finest in the land too, by the way. I go over there and talk to Rickett. He's great. He's got some fantastic baseball picks over there. I watch it all the time. Um, what the hell is his name? He's so bad, I can't even remember his name now. But Talbot is not the answer either. Although he did have a good playoffs. He'll go on runs like that, and then he'll just start shitting the bed again. It just seems to be that that's what he does all the time, his whole career. I, I had him in Edmonton, and I had him. I I didn't have him. He was in Edmonton. He was an Edmonton Oiler. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> mm, yummy, yummy coffee. Uh yeah, so they're back up, and I can't remember his name off the top of my head. He, They're gone, so they're, they're going to need a goaltender next year. That's going to be really their biggest issue. Uh, it's, it was nice to see Lucic 
you know, have a uh, show his true self and show and have like bad penalties and go back to his old ways again. That was kind of nice. <laughs> I don't know why I, I can't stand Lucic, but I can't stand him. It drives me. He, he, the reason why I can't stand him, like if you're a bad dude and like you are like, um, you know, name some Marshawn and stuff like that. First of all, Marshawn's got talent. Uh, second of all, every, you know, everybody knows it. He doesn't drag down his team. He does some stupid shit. But, um, you know, for the most part, he, he, had, he he's effective. Lucic, uh, for the most part, is now, especially in his career, is completely ineffective. And worse than that, worse than that, he thinks he is effective. That's the bad part. It's sort of like Erickson in Vancouver, but from a different perspective. Uh, Erickson and uh, Jan Erickson in Vancouver came out because they were asking him if he was going to retire. And he said, and I don't know if you know much about Erickson, but I mean, this guy has been poopty for like four years, ever since Vancouver got him in his last year in Boston after getting traded from Dallas for Sagan. And, uh, he had one good, decent year and then sucked. Anyways, he came out and said, oh, I think I've got a lot more to give. <laughs> like, everybody's teammates, like, everything just went quiet. It was like, well, why haven't you been given it for the last four years? And if you still had some in there somewhere for the love of God, jeez. And Luch is just like that. He's just, he just reminds me of this dumb lug that thinks he's all oh, okay. I'm going to go play hockey now. Okay, guys, let's go. Making $6 million a year, walking in all arrogant like he's did something, and he hasn't did shit. So, yeah. Anyways, rant over. Let's give. Let's do some leans and picks for today, shall we? <laughs> At seven minutes in. Uh, Philadelphia, Montreal. Uh I, I've been wanting to go Montreal PL all series, and I should have been. What's what, what's going to come out here for Philadelphia? I'm like avoiding this. I I I. They got to win the series, right? Gallagher's out for Montreal. Now now Niskanen is also out for Philadelphia. I think they can cover that a little better than Montreal can cover Gallagher. Uh, Montreal's going to be mad. Philadelphia needs to get angry. That's what I think. Philadelphia needs to get angry. Um, I'm going to do a slight lean on Philadelphia here. And I'm going to do a lean to right now to the under on this game. I can't see them. You know, Carter Hart has very seldom has a bad game and almost always bounces back like crazy. Uh, and Price is, a, you know, a pillar of consistency. Plus, it should be tight because Montreal wants to win and Philadelphia is going to play well. I'm a Philadelphia Flyers fan. So so those are my leans there. I haven't put a bet in. I haven't put anything in for my patrons there. Um, you can go over there when I've got my brain together. I've had my share of coffee, got myself all lubed up and uh, ready to go for the day. Jaime's Body Lube. It's the best there. I said it. It's back. I'm gonna. I'm bringing it back. Uh, St. Louis and Vancouver. St. Louis, Vancouver. Uh, I think St. Louis. The goaltending situation is just hit ahead. I think they're going to be putting Bennington in. What are we going to get for Bennington? I mean, we can only go on what we've seen, right? And Bennington hasn't been doing very well. So right now, my lean is Vancouver. Uh, like I said, that can change. Um, I do have a bet. Some uh, I do have a bet on this game uh, a little bit, but uh, I can't really talk about it because it goes to my patrons. But I'm going to give you that a little bit. I'm leaning to Vancouver right now. Like I said, go over to Patreon. Um, when I put my exact bets in, I was two for two yesterday. Overall in the series, I had a little bit of a dip here, and actually a buddy of mine started being a, a subscriber to Patreon when I went in the dip, and he gave me a call and said, "Hey, I thought you were good." <laughs> I was like, it's a dip, dude. We were doing great. You came in. Maybe you're the problem. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to go live tonight. So you guys go check me out on my live. Uh, I'll probably go live for the Montreal. Uh, what is it? Montreal game is out. No, I can't go to live for Montreal. Shoot. 
Uh, I might try to go live on the Montreal, but I'll definitely be going live on the St. Louis Vancouver game. Go check it out. Just come on this channel. You'll see my live. Hit the live, and we can frolic together again. Let's get all lubed up. Hi, me's body lube. It's the best. There, I said it. I'm heading over to uh, Chinky's House of Yoga. That's Chinky, C H I N K E E, House of Yoga here in Edmonton, Alberta. Franchised all over the world. You can find one in your land too, I'm sure. And uh, tell them, uh, talk to Poon and tell them Perlo sent you. And uh, that's how I get free stuff. So I like free stuff. That's my full 42. Get out there and get your bets in there. Tell me all about it in the comment section, what your bets are and all of that kind of stuff like that. Let's connect. Have a great day. Lots of love to you.